a Wikivide documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Albert Einstein Albert Einstein was a German-born theoretical physicist who developed the theory of relativity, one of the two pillars of modern physics. His work is also known for its influence on the philosophy of science. He is best known to the general public for his mass-energy equivalence formula, which has been dubbed, the world's most famous equation. He received the 1921 Nobel Prize in Physics, for his services to theoretical physics, and especially for his discovery of the law of the photoelectric effect, a pivotal step in the development of quantum theory. Near the beginning of his career, Einstein thought that Newtonian mechanics was no longer enough to reconcile the laws of classical mechanics with the laws of the electromagnetic field. This led him to develop his special theory of relativity during his time at the Swiss Patent Office in Bern, Switzerland. However, he realized that the principle of relativity could also be extended to gravitational fields, and he published a paper on general relativity in 1916 with his theory of gravitation. He continued to deal with problems of statistical mechanics and quantum theory, which led to his explanations of particle theory and the motion of molecules. He also investigated the thermal properties of light which laid the foundation of the photon theory of light. In 1917, he applied the general theory of relativity to model the structure of the universe. Einstein lived in Switzerland between 1895 and 1914, except for one year in Prague, and he received his academic diploma from the Swiss Federal Polytechnic School in Zurich in 1900. He acquired Swiss citizenship in 1901 which he kept for the rest of his life after being stateless for more than five years. In 1905, he was awarded a PhD by the University of Zurich. The same year, he published four groundbreaking papers during his renowned Anasmir Rabelais which brought him to the notice of the academic world at the age of 26. Einstein taught theoretical physics at Zurich between 1912 and 1914 before he left for Berlin where he was elected to the Prussian Academy of Sciences. In 1933, while Einstein was visiting the United States, Adolf Hitler came to power. Because of his Jewish background, Einstein did not return to Germany. He settled in the United States and became an American citizen in 1940. On the eve of World War II, he endorsed elected to President Franklin D. Roosevelt alerting him to the potential development of extremely powerful bombs of a new type, and recommending that the U.S. begin similar research. This eventually led to the Manhattan Project. Einstein supported the Allied forces, but he generally denounced the idea of using nuclear fission as a weapon. He signed the Russell-Einstein Manifesto with British philosopher Bertrand Russell, which highlighted the danger of nuclear weapons. He was affiliated with the Institute for Advanced Study in Princeton, New Jersey until his death in 1955. Einstein published more than 300 scientific papers and more than 150 non-scientific works. His intellectual achievements and originality have made the word Einstein synonymous with genius. Eugene Wigner wrote of Einstein in comparison to his contemporaries that Einstein's understanding was deeper even than Janks von Neumann's. His mind was both more penetrating and more original than von Neumann's. And that is a very remarkable statement. Early Life and Education Albert Einstein was born in Ulm, in the Kingdom of Württemberg in the German Empire, on the 14th of March 1879. His parents were Hermann Einstein, a salesman and engineer, and Pauline Koch. In 1880, the family moved to Munich where Einstein's father and his uncle Jacob founded Elektrotechnische Fabrik J. Einstein and C., a company that manufactured electrical equipment based on direct current. The Einsteins were non-observant Ashkenazi Jews, and Albert attended a Catholic elementary school in Munich, from the age of five, for three years. At the age of eight, 
he was transferred to the Lutpol Gymnasium, where he received advanced primary and secondary school education until he left the German Empire seven years later. In 1894, Hermann and Jacobs' company lost a bid to supply the city of Munich with electrical lighting because they lacked the capital to convert their equipment from the direct current standard to the more efficient alternating current standard. The loss forced the sale of the Munich factory in search of business. The Einstein family moved to Italy, first to Milan and a few months later to Pavia. When the family moved to Pavia, Einstein, then 15, stayed in Munich to finish his studies at the Lutpold Gymnasium. His father intended for him to pursue electrical engineering, but Einstein clashed with authorities and resented the school's regimen and teaching method. He later wrote that the spirit of learning and creative thought was lost in strict rote learning. At the end of December 1894, he traveled to Italy to join his family in Pavia, convincing the school to let him go by using a doctor's note. During his time in Italy he wrote a short essay with the title, On the Investigation of the State of the Ether in a Magnetic Field. Einstein always excelled at maths and physics from a young age, reaching a mathematical level years ahead of his peers. The 12-year-old Einstein taught himself algebra and Euclidean geometry over a single summer. Einstein also independently discovered his own original proof of the Pythagorean theorem at age 12. A family tutor Max Talmud says that after he had given the 12-year-old Einstein a geometry textbook, after a short time, Einstein had worked through the whole book. He thereupon devoted himself to higher mathematics. Soon the flight of his mathematical genius was so high I could not follow. His passion for geometry and algebra led the 12-year-old to become convinced that nature could be understood as a mathematical structure. Einstein started teaching himself calculus at 12. And as a 14-year-old he says he had mastered integral and differential calculus. At age 13, Einstein was introduced to Kant's critique of pure reason, and Kant became his favorite philosopher. His tutor stating, at the time he was still a child, only 13 years old, yet Kant's works, incomprehensible to ordinary mortals, seemed to be clear to him. In 1895, at the age of 16, Einstein took the entrance examinations for the Swiss Federal Polytechnic in Zurich. He failed to reach the required standard in the general part of the examination, but obtained exceptional grades in physics and mathematics. On the advice of the principal of the Polytechnic, he attended the Argovian Cantonal School in Aarau, Switzerland, in 1895 and 1896 to complete his secondary schooling. While lodging with the family of Professor Jost Wintler, he fell in love with Wintler's daughter, Marie. Albert's sister Mahara later married Wintler's son Paul. In January 1896, with his father's approval, Einstein renounced his citizenship in the German kingdom of Württemberg to avoid military service. In September 1896, he passed the Swiss Matura with mostly good grades, including a top grade of six in physics and mathematical subjects, on a scale of 1-6. At 17, he enrolled in the four-year mathematics and physics teaching diploma program at the Zurich Polytechnic. Marie Wintler, who was a year older, moved to Olsberg, Switzerland, for a teaching post. Einstein's future wife, a 20-year-old Serbian woman Maleva Marik, also enrolled at the Polytechnic that year. She was the only woman among the six students in the mathematics and physics section of the teaching diploma course. Over the next few years, Einstein and Marek's friendship developed into romance, and they read books together on extracurricular physics in which Einstein was taking an increasing interest. In 1900, Einstein passed the exams in maths and physics and was awarded the Federal Polytechnic Teaching Diploma. There have been claims that Marek collaborated with Einstein on his 1905 papers, known as the Annus Mirabilis Papers. But historians of physics who have studied the issue find no evidence that she made any substantive contributions. Marriages and Children An early correspondence between Einstein and Marie was discovered and published in 1987 which revealed that the couple had a daughter named, Lisa. Born in early 1902 in Novi Sad where Marie was staying with her parents, 
Marieke returned to Switzerland without the child, whose real name and fate are unknown. The contents of Einstein's letter in September 1903 suggest that the girl was either given up for adoption or died of scarlet fever in infancy. Einstein and Marieke married in January 1903. In May 1904, Their son Hans Albert Einstein was born in Bern, Switzerland. Their son Edward was born in Zurich in July 1910. The couple moved to Berlin in April 1914. But Marie returned to Zurich with their sons after learning that Einstein's chief romantic attraction was his first and second cousin Elsa. They divorced on 14 February 1919, having lived apart for five years. Edward had a breakdown at about age 20 and was diagnosed with schizophrenia. His mother cared for him and he was also committed to asylums for several periods finally being committed permanently after her death. In letters revealed in 2015, Einstein wrote to his early love Marie Winteler about his marriage and his strong feelings for her. He wrote in 1910, While his wife was pregnant with their second child, I think of you in heartfelt love every spare minute and am so unhappy as only a man can be. He spoke about a misguided love and a missed life. Regarding his love for Marie, Einstein married Elsa Lowenthal in 1919, after having a relationship with her since 1912. She was a first cousin maternally and a second cousin paternally. They emigrated to the United States in 1933. Elsa was diagnosed with heart and kidney problems in 1935 and died in December 1936. Patent Office after graduating in 1900, Einstein spent almost two frustrating years searching for a teaching post. He acquired Swiss citizenship in February 1901, but for medical reasons was not conscripted. With the help of Marcel Grossman's father, he secured a job in Bern at the Federal Office for Intellectual Property, the Patent Office, as an assistant examiner level 3. Einstein evaluated patent applications for a variety of devices including a gravel sorter and an electromechanical typewriter. In 1903, his position at the Swiss Patent Office became permanent. Although he was passed over for promotion until he fully mastered machine technology, much of his work at the Patent Office related to questions about transmission of electric signals and electrical mechanical synchronization of time two technical problems that show up conspicuously in the thought experiments that eventually led Einstein to his radical conclusions about the nature of light and the fundamental connection between space and time. With a few friends he had met in Bern, Einstein started a small discussion group in 1902, self-mockingly named, the Olympia Academy, which met regularly to discuss science and philosophy. Their readings included the works of Henri Poincaré, Ernst Mack, and David Hume, which influenced his scientific and philosophical outlook. First Scientific Papers In 1900, Einstein's paper, Fogerungen aus den Kapillaritat zur Schönungen, was published in the journal Annal und der Physik. On 30 April 1905, Einstein completed his thesis, with Alfred Kleiner, Professor of Experimental Physics, serving as pro forma advisor. As a result, Einstein was awarded a PhD by the University of Zurich, with his dissertation, A New Determination of Molecular Dimensions, in that same year, which has been called Einstein's Annus Mirabilis. He published four groundbreaking papers, on the photoelectric effect, Brownian motion, special relativity, and the equivalence of mass and energy which were to bring him to the notice of the academic world, at the age of 26. Academic career By 1908, he was recognized as a leading scientist and was appointed lecturer at the University of Bern. The following year, after giving a lecture on electrodynamics,
and the relativity principle at the University of Zurich. Alfred Klein recommended him to the faculty for a newly created professorship in theoretical physics. Einstein was appointed associate professor in 1909. Einstein became a full professor at the German Charles Ferdinand University in Prague in April 1911, accepting Austrian citizenship in the Austro-Hungarian Empire to do so. During his Prague stay, he wrote 11 scientific works, five of them on radiation mathematics and on the quantum theory of solids. In July 1912, he returned to his alma mater in Zurich. From 1912 until 1914, he was professor of theoretical physics at the ETH Zurich, where he taught analytical mechanics and thermodynamics. He also studied continuum mechanics, the molecular theory of heat, and the problem of gravitation, on which he worked with mathematician and friend Marcel Grossman. On 3 July 1913, he was voted for membership in the Prussian Academy of Sciences in Berlin. Max Planck and Wolfen Ernst visited him the next week in Zurich to persuade him to join the academy, additionally offering him the post of director at the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute for Physics, which was soon to be established. He was officially elected to the academy on 24 July, and he accepted to move to the German Empire the next year. His decision to move to Berlin was also influenced by the prospect of living near his cousin Elsa, with whom he had developed a romantic affair. He joined the Academy and thus the Berlin University on 1 April 1914. As World War I broke out that year, the plan for Kaiser Wilhelm Institute for Physics was aborted. The Institute was established on 1 October 1917, with Einstein as its director. In 1916, Einstein was elected president of the German Physical Society, based on calculations Einstein made in 1911. About his new theory of general relativity, light from another star should be bent by the sun's gravity. In 1919, that prediction was confirmed by Sir Arthur Eddington during the solar eclipse of 29 May 1919. Those observations were published in the international media, making Einstein world famous. On 7 November 1919, the leading British newspaper The Times printed a banner headline that read, Revolution in Science New Theory of the Universe Newtonian Ideas Overthrown, in 1920. He became a foreign member of the Royal Netherlands Academy of Arts and Sciences. In 1922, he was awarded the 1921 Nobel Prize in Physics, for his services to theoretical physics, and especially for his discovery of the law of the photoelectric effect. While the general theory of relativity was still considered somewhat controversial, the citation also does not treat the cited work as an explanation. but merely as a discovery of the law, as the idea of photons was considered outlandish and did not receive universal acceptance until the 1924 derivation of the Planck spectrum by S. N. Bose. Einstein was elected a foreign member of the Royal Society in 1921. He also received the Copley Medal from the Royal Society in 1925. 1921-1922, Travels Abroad Einstein visited New York City for the first time on 2 April 1921, where he received an official welcome by Mayor John Francis Hyland, followed by three weeks of lectures and receptions. He went on to deliver several lectures at Columbia University and Princeton University, and in Washington he accompanied representatives of the National Academy of Science on a visit to the White House. On his return to Europe he was the guest of the British statesman and philosopher Viscount Haldane in London, where he met several renowned scientific, intellectual and political figures.
and delivered a lecture at King's College London. He also published an essay, My First Impression of the USA in July 1921, in which he tried briefly to describe some characteristics of Americans. Much as had Alexis de Tocqueville, who published his own impressions in Democracy in America. For some of his observations, Einstein was clearly surprised, what strikes a visitor is the joyous. Positive attitude to life. The American is friendly, self-confident, optimistic, and without envy. In 1922, his travels took him to Asia and later to Palestine, as part of a six-month excursion and speaking tour. As he visited Singapore, Ceylon, and Japan, where he gave a series of lectures to thousands of Japanese. After his first public lecture, he met the Emperor and Empress at the Imperial Palace, where thousands came to watch. In a letter to his sons, he described his impression of the Japanese as being modest, intelligent, considerate, and having a true feel for art. Because of Einstein's travels to the Far East, he was unable to personally accept the Nobel Prize for Physics at the Stockholm Award Ceremony in December 1922. In his place, the banquet speech was held by a German diplomat, who praised Einstein not only as a scientist, but also as an international peacemaker and activist. On his return voyage, he visited Palestine for 12 days in what would become his only visit to that region. He was greeted as if he were a head of state, rather than a physicist, which included a cannon salute upon arriving at the home of the British High Commissioner, Sir Herbert Samuel. During one reception, the building was stormed by people who wanted to see and hear him. In Einstein's talk to the audience, he expressed happiness that the Jewish people were beginning to be recognized as a force in the world. Einstein visited Spain for two weeks in 1923. Where he briefly met Santiago Ramón y Cajal and also received a diploma from King Alfonso XIII naming him a member of the Spanish Academy of Sciences. From 1922 to 1932, Einstein was a member of the International Committee on Intellectual Cooperation of the League of Nations in Geneva, a body created to promote international exchange between scientists, researchers, teachers, artists, and intellectuals. Originally slated to serve as the Swiss delegate, Secretary General Eric Drummond was persuaded by Catholic activists Oskar Halicki and Giuseppe Motta to instead have him become the German delegate. Thus allowing Gonzaga de Reynolds to take the Swiss spot, from which he promoted traditionalist Catholic values. His former physics professor Hendrik Lorentz, and the French chemist Marie Curie were also members of the committee. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to know more?